What's going on, E Nation Army? This is the Impress 1227 here, and welcome back to yet another diecast review. And obviously, this is at Target, and this is one of the diecasts I was on the shelf for a while. The other one was like Ever Jones of 2023 United States Air Force, but I didn't want that because I'm not a fan of delivery. There was also Zane Smith's 2022 Speedco Championship truck. But I didn't want that because the championship logo was on the roof and that always that, that's always such a turn off to me. But there was another die cast that I originally didn't want, but it was there for a while. And after like, what, two weeks, I'm like, all right, fine. You know what? I'll get it. And this is it. This is Brad Kozlowski's 2023 Castro Edge uh, Ford Mustang for Rosh Fenway Kozlowski, his own team. And I forgot to turn off. I mean, turn on the flashlight. But I'll get to that in a moment. So let's go to the box. Got NASCAR Authentics. Got the NASCAR 75th Anniversary logo, number six. Brad Kozlowski, 2023 Wave 9, 3 plus, 164. NASCAR Authentics, collect them all. We got the NASCAR hologram. And um, I have some stories. So my target had, let's just say, two of these cars. Zane Smith and Kimi Raikkonen. But... Only, only the packaging. There was no car, only the packaging. So, like, seriously, what kind of a person do you have to be to do that? Just take the cars, but not the packaging, just steal it. Whoever does that, respectfully, go screw yourself. That's all I can say. So, they had these two. Uh, they also had Brad's car, Eric's car, like I said, I didn't want this. And, honestly, that's all they had. Look for the U.S. Air Force Chase piece. No, thank you, but thank you anyway. So, let's go with the box, shall we? Er, not go with the box. Let's open the box. All right. All right. Now, before we do the diecast review, let me just turn on the flashlight. All right, guys. Here we are. This is the diecast review of Brad Kozlowski's 2023 Castro Edge Ford Mustang. Let's get to it. So... Because this is an authentic die cast, uh, there's no gold chrome. Uh, not gold. I'm, I am so stupid. Gray chrome. There's no gray chrome because that's a gold series thing. Unless this livery was not meant to have it. I don't recall. But anyway, you got Castro Edge. Fast and all. You got, oh boy, out of focus. Uh, you got Siemens, Mac Tools. Not sure what that logo is. Get by ethanol. What happened to American ethanol, right? Ford, King Hawaiian, Castro Edge. Um, what is that other sponsor? I can't tell. Brad Kosowski with the American flag because America, fuck yeah. NASCAR Cup Series logo with the NASCAR 75th anniversary logo. It's still beautiful, the logo. Um, you got on the hood, you got Castro Edge, you got Ford. Mustang horse number six, Rush Fenway Kozlowski Racing logo. Same side as the left. On the back bumper, you got Castro Edge Ford RFK number six. That's a very dark Michigan license plate. Very dark. On the roof, you got number six, Castro Edge. And on the deck lid, you got Castro Edge. Oh no, are you kidding me? I just noticed this. Oh god. That's a chipped up Castro logo. It's like someone took a bite out of it. And you could say either some little kid or a little dog or cat took a little nibble out of this piece. I say cat, but wow. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is so close to being a, to being one of the uh, good cars. I mean, still a good car, but like with no mistakes. So close. That's disappointing. But as for this livery... It's honestly a huge step up to whatever the hell Brakazowski and Chris Buescher ran uh, with the Castro cars back in 2022. I'm talking about the green and red livery. The red and green colors with the chrome gray numbers. Whatever that livery was. Oh, God, it was horrible. The Castro livery Brakazowski tested at Daytona two years ago. That was beautiful, and I hate the fact there was no die cast of it. That was honestly a way better Castro car than the one they really ran. But that's okay, because this Castro Edge car, big step up comparing to the Castro cars from 2022. 
I really like the fact the way it's designed with the colors. It's just mainly black. Got some of the 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 faded red and green. The way it's designed like that, I think it's just awesome. And with the white uh, roof and rails, honestly, I used to be mixed bags about it. Like as in, I don't know what to say, but I think it matches. I think it goes well, pretty nice. Pretty nice livery. Like I said, big step up from the 2022 Castro cars. But the throwback, honestly, the Kazowski Castro throwback, honestly, that's my favorite right there. Um, yeah, beautiful car. I'm actually glad I got this. So, yeah, that's about it. Uh, expect two more diecast reviews. Both are indie car diecast. So that's going to do it for another diecast review. I want to say thank you all so much for watching. This is Ian Press 1227 signing off. Goodbye, everybody.